Hello everyone, I'm Katie Gomanji, a cloud native leader, practitioner and contributor. I have built platforms for containerized applications, advised the startup and led the CNCF end user community. Today I invite you to join me in exploring the KCNA or Kubernetes and Cloud Native Associate certification curriculum. In the past months, I have led the KCNA creation based on the community feedback to have a more beginner-friendly and inclusive evaluation to demonstrate basic knowledge and skills across cloud native technologies. As such, the exam is divided into five main parts covering Kubernetes and the wider cloud native landscape. Kubernetes Fundamentals covers 46% of the questions and it will test if students understand the correlation between different resources, such as containers, pods, replica sets, and deployments. Additionally, it will explore how applications are scheduled alongside components that form the Kubernetes architecture. The container orchestration part will check how containerized workloads are created, secured, and interconnected alongside the usage of storage and service mesh tools. While the cloud native architecture part will examine the knowledge of open standards such as service mesh interface, container runtime interface, and container network interface, alongside scaling techniques such as VPA, HPA, and cluster autoscalers, and serverless. And the last two parts will cover the observability stacks and the application delivery tools, including evaluation of Prometheus, Helm, GitOps, cost management tools, and many more. Overall, the exam is heavily focused on the Kubernetes components and how containerized workloads are managed. However, students taking the exam should be aware of the tools and standards that offer the observability, scaling, storage, and delivery mechanism for an application. Good luck taking the exam, and I look forward to seeing how KCNA will impact the student community and everyone new to Cloud Native.